Transport Fever 2, How to Improve Roads. So you see I've got this line that I just made. And look how it zigzags. If I straighten the road, the bus is going to get there twice as fast. And if it's going to get there twice as fast, it's going to move twice as many people with fewer vehicles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten this out. And I'm going to do it cheaply. It's not going to be a direct line. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a connection. And this point that I'm pointing with the mouse is going to connect to over here. So what I do is I line them up on the map so that one is on the left and one is on the right. When I go over here and I build the road, I can just go straight across. <clears throat> And I'm going to use the cheap road. Not going to use the highway. We're going to have to wait a little bit until I have some money. I'm sure it's only going to take a few seconds. <clears throat> I'm going to make the connection to this road over here. The bus is going to probably reroute as soon as I make the connection onto the new road that I've created. You see, it's already rerouted. So I've made it substantially faster. Now we got to finish the connection. I'm going to rotate the map. And I'm going to build across, probably from this connection to this connection. Start over here, start building across. I am going to run out of money, so I'm going to pause. Keep going across. And there it is. You see that we've got the new connection for that road. You see over here it says rate 13 and frequency. Supposed to be frequency 24 minutes. Should have checked the before and after, right? It's like nothing changed when I made the road longer. Just need to wait a moment so I can make the connection again. This is a new line, so it doesn't have any history yet. And I'm going to guess that if you make changes to this right here, some of these values, it's going to change uh, the amount of time. I don't see any change. Gee, it didn't... For some reason, it didn't make the update that I selected. That's weird. Now it says 19 minutes. And it's showing the wrong icon. This is not the correct icon. It says full load all. What a fun game. Well, that's how you straighten out the road. Obviously, it can be done between any cities. I want to make sure that Reading, which is my largest city, largest city means that there's more people leaving and coming. Want to make sure that I've got lots 
of road traffic. So I am going to see. I already did Great Yarmouth Uppingham. This one is going to Bingham. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and straighten more roads. For example, if I choose this line, it's not really straight. It's possible to go down this road and come across and enter the town and cross over, but it doesn't do that. It takes the highway. It's possible to straighten out this over here by doing so. I'd have to build another bridge and connect to that road, I suppose, but it is possible. So I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. It makes sense to do it because look at how much time it's going to take to do that and how much I'm going to save by making this connection. So I am going to go... like that. I think I'm going to go under. Wow, look at that. Perfect. I am a great engineer. And then I'm going to connect this road to here. So this yellow line is going to straighten out. And now we got a shorter route. It's going to be more profitable to be able to move more people with fewer vehicles. Less expenses, less road wear, etc. And it's not going to be just for my bus. It's going to be for all of the private vehicles, which I will show you. See over here, it says private vehicles. It's got a picture of a car. Thought there was a way to show all the destinations. We're talking about Great Yarmouth. See, it says 2,500. I'm expecting... Wait, was that correct? Is this Reading to Great Yarmouth? No. You should expect this number to increase. Because more cars are going to be able to travel. It's going to go up. That means that this chart's also going to go up. With all the changes I've been making to Reading, I expect the charts to start growing because I've been providing better um, transport to Reading. This town down here that I would like to build, it's called Alston. So I will do a Reading Alston road. I'm going to make a line. I'm going to change it to yellow. I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to go down to here. Should not have built the bus terminal here. I should have built it more in the north. And then I am going to change the name. It's going to be called Bus Alston Reading. Click Vehicles. I'm going to use Go Sport. I know that it's closer. I'm going to sign it to Alston Reading. Look at that path it's got to take. Not direct at all. That's going to take a long time. So the way to fix it is you line up 
where you want to make your connections. I'm going to go check this out a little bit. I'm going to have to build a bridge, possibly. And I'm going to connect the two like this. I'm going to rotate it so that I've got one connection here and one connection here. And then when I zoom in, I just have to build across. I'm going to just build straight across. Guess it's going to be a tunnel going through. Oh, look at how steep that is. Now, obviously, I want to connect to here. It's probably not going to make a difference, but more choice is better for the road vehicles because you never know what vehicle is going to take advantage of that connection that I just made. So, obviously, what I just did did not help yet. Looks like I'm going to be connecting to this road over here. I'm going to rotate to line up with that destination point. I'm going to build this way. Then I'm going to start going out. And you see we start to see a road to connect to and there it is I just saved a ton of time it's gonna make it a lot more profitable running down that road now this is a new line so we don't have any information yet for finances but that's basically how you do it you can do it with trains you can do it with roads um, if you wanted to, you could build a canal going through here using the sandbox tools. That's how you do it. If you've got any questions or comments, uh, please post below. I think I showed enough about how to do it. And uh, I do have a discussion forum with, that has video games. Go to Transport Management and then look for Train Fever or Transport Fever and you can read the tips I've posted there, and you can ask me any questions. I'll answer them. And I am the owner of CheapBooks.com, which is a book search engine. So you can search for books and textbooks, and you're going to save a lot of money. It's got over 700 million listings right now, and it's very competitive with websites like Google if you want to find a book. It's got almost everything. Got any questions or comments? Please post below.